So again, I will show two methods. 12, 15, and 21. This is for LCM. Sorry, HCM. So HCM is very simple. You have to find the common factor in all three numbers. So I guess all three numbers are divisible by three. Yes. So I'll get four over here. I'll get five over here. And I get seven, seven, three, the twenty one. Understood? Yeah. Is there anything common other than this? No. So simple. Three. HCAF is three. Understood? Somehow we don't have anything common in two in this case. So suppose it was, I'm just changing, then LCM would be, let me just finish this question. Because there is no, there is no common in any two also. So LCM would be four multiplied by five multiplied by seven multiplied by three. Is that thing clear? Yes. Which will be 420. I'm just changing the numbers. Let's say it is 12, 30, and 21. Now in this case, 12, 30, and 21. And if I take 3 again, it would be what? 4 and 10 and 7. Is there anything else common between 4, 10 and 7? No. No. So my HCF again would be 3. But in this case, LCM wouldn't, won't be multiplication. I have to see that these two numbers have something common. So I'll divide this thing by 2. So 2 5 and 7, it will come as it is. Understood? Now I will multiply because there is nothing common now. Sorry for this. Give me one second. Can you see uh, 2, 5, and 7? There is nothing common. So now LCM would be this thing, multiplication. Yeah. So LCM is 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. So whatever is the answer, you can do 5 into say 10, 0 will be there. So 7 into 3, 21, 21 into 2 is 42. Again, 420 is the LCM, coincidentally. Okay. These are the two different types of questions which I discussed just now for three numbers. Quickly copy this thing. We'll do one more question. Yes. 